Hey folks and welcome on back to Building with Flip where I have been an extremely busy person getting so very much grind work done but folks I have an awesome episode planned for today. We are going to be working on the manor house way back over there. I'm super excited for this one. I've got a lot of great ideas for how we can make that structure just look absolutely amazing. But in the meantime, folks, before we get into that one, I have been a running around this world here doing so many different things, getting so much stuff gathered up. And well, to start ourselves off here, we spent some time over in the nether where we placed down a bunch of TNT, lined all that stuff up, fought off the hoglins, fought off the pigmen, fought off the piglins, you know, the new ones that we have, as well as a bunch of skeletons. And then, of course, blew up all of the TNT, which was absolutely awesome and then outside of that i was able to spend a few hours gathering up my absolute favorite block in the entire game the dirt block we gathered up over 12 shulker boxes full of the stuff and it is absolutely awesome now i'm so so very thankful that we were able to get all that stuff gathered up here and it's going to mean we can get a lot of work done on the mountains coming in here soon one thing that has been bothering me a lot inside of this world is my storage system. My storage system is absolutely insane right now, and it's uh, it's not good. It's uh, it's not good. Well, down here's okay. I at least understand this mess of shulker boxes, but there's a lot of stuff like all of this. That's all iron ore. That's all coal ore. And then there's some gold. There's other iron and just random things like that around the entire world. And I think this is not the only chest like that. So if we take a bunch of shulker boxes, as I can only have one, if we take a bunch of shulker boxes with us, I'm thinking eight shulker boxes should hopefully be enough for this one. And first and foremost, I want to check our mines and see how many resources we can get. Today, I'm looking for precious resources, so the irons, the golds, the et cetera, stuff like that. And I just want to get it all smelted up, dealt with, and actually know how much of the stuff that I have. And basically, how long can I put off building an iron farm? That's that's kind of the plan right now, is I don't have my iron farm anymore. I've been using a lot of the stuff, and I'm planning on using a lot of anvils and some builds moving forward. So, um, yeah, let's see how much we actually have. Coming down here to the mess of the mines, where we just have stone and stone and more stone and more stone stone and more stone oh my gosh there's like 20 something shulker boxes of stone over here and then this mess of chests this is where it doesn't get to be very good well there's over two stacks of diamond ore inside of here so that's pretty cool i'm gonna put that all in here with the redstone and oh my gosh, there's even more. There's everything. Everything we could need is down here. I'll be honest, I was expecting this to be a lot worse. I don't know why I thought eight shulker boxes would be needed. We didn't even get a full shulker box of iron ore. But we did get a almost two shulker boxes worth of coal ore, which is great. And then an entire stack of blocks of coal, which is even better. Headed back over to Papyrus now. I checked pretty much everywhere I thought of that where we might have some stuff that we could loot and be able to smelt down and everything like that. Besides what's kind of down here. Oh, almost made it down the staircase besides what's down here inside of papyrus itself how much in there's a lot of it that's a lot more than we had already that is more what i was expecting to see here folks and there's even 27 more diamond ore sitting inside of here and we have 24 more emerald ore all right well i think today we're going to be doing a big old breaking down of everything session on that note i've got a lot of stuff to smelt down here folks and this super smelter is not the best of the best here it's only 12 furnaces we're going to need a new one of these here very very soon but without any further ado, I think we go ahead and kick this off in a little bit of a time-lapse mode while I get all this stuff smelted down over here, and we've got to break down two shulker boxes of different types of random ores and a bunch of this stuff sitting here too, so folks, let's hit it. <laughs> Thankfully in that time all of the iron was able to smelt up and we got a few more stacks of blocks of iron over here which is great and that's actually more than a full beacon for ourselves and then outside of that we have this many resources over here 43 more blocks of diamonds which is pretty legit which turns into about six plus stack. This adds a good healthy amount to the current diamond stock that we have right there. And we almost almost doubled the amount of diamonds we have, which is really awesome because I uh, I never really go and mine for those. So it's good to always build that up. Beyond all the craziness that we have been able to do today, it's time that we actually slow things down here a touch. We're gonna need some of this wheat and then we're also gonna need some seeds if I have any. Thankfully, it looks like I have a shulker box full of them. So that is gonna be very, very helpful here. We don't actually need that many. So maybe we can just use this guy 
instead, which has no seeds in it. Why is that in my seed chest? And I think a very important thing about the Minecraft world is to have a change of pace every while, every once in a while, just for whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, it's good to slow down or pick up or just kind of change things up a little bit here. And in today, before we get into building that big guy, I'm in a little bit of a mood to chill and just kind of relax. In order to make this work, we're going to need a few of these guys right over here and a few fence gates for ourselves as well. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and bring all these as well. And I should have some spruce around here too, maybe. It's already in the ready to go project position, so we can go ahead and just grab this here and bring it with us. But what I've been wanting to do is out in this area here, I have this little bit of like a dead field of sorts. And there's all these cows over here. Well, um, there's cow over here. And a big thing that I've been meaning to do and needing to do is getting a better food source. Right now, I have no food inside this world. I have 30 cooked mud in on me right now, and I have another stack of cooked mud in and a few pork chops as well. Out in this area where I want to build the slums eventually, I'm thinking right now, or at least a good thing to include kind of in the slums area that we're working with, is like a random cattle pasture. I feel like that helps add to like the slums environment and the swamp and everything right there. So I want to start ourselves off today by creating a little bit of an area for our cows to hang out in, gathering up a few of those, getting a small wheat field planted so we can actually use those things. Because one thing that I've kind of started to neglect inside of this world is the fact that we're in a survival world. Like I know I've been doing a lot of survival building and working like crazy in here, but I just never really been worried about food or any of those extra bits. And over here, we can actually break this one out a little Little while and i'm thinking we create a little bit of like a covered lean to area for the animals to hang out in because obviously they're going to be hanging out here it's going to be cold it's going to be wet and kind of just gross from being a swampy environment so if we go one two three four and five and we could do this and that'll get us a little something over here it's going to be at like a sloped angle really bringing in that kind of gross disgusting feel of this stuff's just been hanging out here the marshland is like sinking down there's not too much going on with it really trying to create some more character behind this one without having to work too hard for it, I guess you could say. And using a few little spruce gates right over here, we can kind of start to bring these in and get a few extra detail bits going in. And then maybe we can do something right like that as bring in some trap doors here along the front. It can help to make it look like that was starting to lean over in the front here and just get a slight little bit of a covering without having the craziness of the full blocks. And then in here, let's just do one that's like broken and closed, kind of like that. Breaks up the straight line that we have, really makes it kind of gross feeling back here and then also helps fill in that gap now i know i don't typically do like this more let's build style where we're building it all together doing all that sort of stuff i've been recently going a lot more towards the time lapses but if y'all think this is kind of a nice way to go mix things up not all the time but let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see this type of stuff more often i'm more than happy to do it i think it's kind of fun uh but i've always just been a little worried about pushing too much of it i guess you could say so if y'all like to see this stuff be sure to let me know that down in the comments below and there was that one cow right over here that we can use next to the broken farmstead that we built a long long time ago sheepies uh you're not welcome into the cow pasture that's please can you just I, every animal normally just like, yeah, I don't care about the wheat. And this guy's just like hooked on it. Now he has a friend. Please, I don't, I don't know. I don't, please. All right, let's see if we can get the sheep in, the sheeps out. Let's see. No, cow, cow, you stay back here. You stay back in here, buddy, please. I want to keep you. You're going to get all of the wheat you could ever want in your entire life. You would just please, no, cow, you just, no, come on, man. No, come on. Nope, nope. Mr. Cow, please stop it. There, no, you're, you, that's a that's a big nope, everybody. Yay, just the cows inside. We're good. And there we have it. The first baby. The first baby is here. Hello, little boy. You're going to be so delicious one day. Moving over to this area, though, where we have the corner of the dark oak forest meeting in with the swamp. I feel like it's a pretty solid spot to be able to set up the little bit of a farmland location here. Having it partially down in this area, it's going to be... I try and make these, even though there's going to be functional sections to them, I try and make them still look really cool or at least have some interesting part to them. So I think what that's going to be is this little marshland area out here. I absolutely love these points inside of Minecraft and I really want to come through and make a custom one soon. But for now, we can just run out here and fill all of this in with our wheat seeds. Of course, we have the more interesting looking area down here and then something a little bit more on the functional side. I'm just going to throw the last wheat seeds that we have right up in this point and we can start to fill this lower area here. Maybe it was on the slope. It was working its way up the hill and the lower area floods, but the upper area stays a-okay. That's just kind of a general idea I have in mind. I think I'm also going to get rid of that dark oak tree just because it looks a little weird. That should help to open the area up a lot more and get us some more light. Hopefully now we'll be able to breed up the cows again. Nope, sheep, I don't want you. Hello, do you guys like me? Oh, you do. Yes. Now, we're, oh, so much faster now. Perfect. We've got four of them. 
Now that we've got the cow farm situated over here, I thought it'd be kind of fun to come over here and experiment with the slum style housing. So I was thinking we could bring ourselves up with some dark oak right in here. Thinking we're gonna go with oak planks on this one. For some reason, I feel like that's just gonna fit pretty well. And I wanna go for with smaller structures out here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and then five, and then that'll bring us out to this section over here. And I wanna make it look like it's actually sloping down the hill and just really, really messed up over here. These aren't really meant to be ones that we're able to live in too much. And it's not really meant to be a survival home just something small small area where you could kind of maybe survive the first night inside of a minecraft world is the idea that i'm going with on this one then if we bring in some of these planks and we can kind of bring it all in like that i'm thinking we kind of flatten it off on the top i really want to make this area look broken down and in shambles of sorts so it's gonna be really really cool i'm hoping just a bunch of oak planks along the side and a way to mess with this one even more before we get to doing the roof is adding in a few little bits of these guys i've changed my texture pack up so that if you double stack slash for wood types it gives you these really cool vertical slabs which I absolutely love working with now that we're up here for the roof I was thinking we could just use a bunch of spruce and kind of make it look like it's really just piled up around here a lot of slabs and then in areas where it doesn't work out too well I'm thinking we go ahead and bring in quite a few of our stair blocks so in like right here where it reveals the log we could go ahead and bring in some stairs. Then also I wanna add a few little like patch holes or something into the roof because I feel like that could work out pretty well. My idea for this is more or less that they've been able to take anything that they can find around them in the land and they're using it to create their homes. And I think it'll give a really cool sense of like character to this area without us having to go too extreme into doing anything. And like this point right here, we could even have the log like sticking out of the roof a little bit. So it just feels again, more broken down. Like it isn't supposed to be like that, but that's just kind of how things are going so far. And there we go. This one is now super broken up over here. And I was thinking on this back corner that we have, I want to throw in a little bit of a chimney, just a tiny little cobblestone design right over here. Something sticking out of the top. And recently I've been messing around with this soul fire campfire and I absolutely love it because it doesn't give off very much light, but it still gives off all the smoke above it. So I feel like for chimneys in these areas, when we want it to be kind of more dim, it could work out really well for us. Making it look all topsy turny and just kind of going any which way, I feel like again is gonna help with the design over here. So just adding in all these stairs to the chimney to really raise it up here, but I feel like this is one too high maybe. And adding in the soul fire campfire with the little cobblestone wall on top of it, then bringing all this stuff around the sides is gonna help to hide it out here and we shouldn't be able to see too much of it. And there we go, this place is really starting to look like one that I would not wanna live in unless I absolutely had to. And I was thinking we could come over here with the chain and just hang a lane lantern off of it and just adding even more to that. I like this one a lot. It's kind of on the brighter side using the oak wood, but oak planks are something I feel like I never use and I really want to use them more often because they're such a cool little block. All right, I might've gotten a little carried away here, adding in some more extra detail to this area and just trying to get that more of that swampy vibe that I was really hoping for here. So I added a bunch of spruce leaves along the outside and I probably should light this up interior. We're not gonna do the interior, come on, we never knew those. But over here, we've also got a few little wheat seeds expanding around. I was replanting the field over here and I was like, hey, well, why not? It could be kind of cool up here. And I like it. I really, really love this result. I can't wait to explore the style some more. If you have any ideas on other stuff we can include here, be sure to let me know. But this is one of those things that I think I could fiddle with forever will just be like hey i'm actually just waiting for the cows to grow up speaking of which i think we can breed them and just build an entire village out here but this is supposed to be something that's just kind of a taste of it starting it off slow here starting to expand this area a little bit further it's a really good thing as a content creator that i can set my own schedule and operate on my own thing because i just spent another good while messing around with this area and adding more detail into here but folks i think it's finally time that we jump back over to the port city that we can see just over the horizon to those colorful concrete powder blocks and it's time for us to kick this off in a good old-fashioned time-lapse mode and build up a manor house. Wow, that was a transition. We are seriously going from rags to riches here on this time-lapse, working on the slums to coming over, working on this luxurious mansion build here. And on this one, I tried something new. I decided to install the mod called Lightmatica, which allows you to basically create a blueprint in the world. So I've been using a creative copy of this world where I first designed this thing and then could come back in throughout here and build it basically as if we were 3D printing it inside the world. So I already kind of knew everything that was going to be going on here. I changed a few things as I was going kind of second time around building it. There's always a few positives that can come from that. But anyways, over here, as you see it kind of just developing out of the ground, I'm really curious to hear all of your thoughts on this one and whether you think it's a cool design idea as far as the video and everything like that of just the slowly building from the ground going up. I think it looks really cool kind of just slowly coming together like this one. I know it feels a little 
different than what we normally do but let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that one but coming throughout here i really want to use the warped wood as the roof color since we're going like this navy theme to the area i figured that light blue it's almost like an aquamarine type blue tealy thing going on with it i thought it was a really cool one to fit in for here then for the second structure to help get a little bit more contrast on top of that i wanted to bring in some brick over here so we have the bone blocks with a little bit of diorite mixed in then we have the brick and granite and terracotta building over here which i thought was a really cool transition then for the top of this one i decided to bring in some stripped warp log instead of doing the uh warped planks themselves just get a different color that it's just so much brighter in here so i thought it was a kind of cool little bit on this i want to get more of these grand fireplace chimneys going on in throughout the build i think they add a great sense of atmosphere to this one but so far we've got these two structures in here i think they're looking pretty great i think that's a really cool point to start to define the style inside of this one and bring it all together here but that's what we've got built so far folks so let's jump back in and do some more work pretty the area up around it i think for a start of the mansion up here we've done a pretty good job so far i really really like this build and what i'm thinking here in the center as i kind of talked about previously is i wanted to do a small flagpole or not a small flagpole but a flagpole nonetheless down here that we can have something in this space where it's gonna be kind of a point of interest for ourselves and something that in this area that we can really express like just like hey look at how cool this place is but what i'm thinking over here is we can do something like this and now we can bring in some of the chains but i want to get a decent amount of height to this one so i'm pretty much going to take all 12 of these chains and just bring ourselves up all the way to the top with this one and then we'll build the flag up on top of that point. Now, what I want the flag to be is a bit of like a mast of sorts. So something like what we have the flag right over there. So we're gonna be building this up right here with some of the cyan. We've got some green, we've got some light blue, and we've got some blue. Those are kind of the city colors in this area. And here to make it look like those things are connected, we can do this as another lever down there. And it looks like a pulley system in order to get it up and down. Then on top of that one, we can add another two of these, and then we can add a flower pot right over here. At this point with this flag, since we're so far up here, and I'm thinking we're gonna build a building right there, there. we're gonna build some over here I don't want to do the crazy wind bit that we have on that one because who knows how tall these structures are gonna be so I want to just kind of briefly take a second to try and come up with a design that looks a little similar to the other one as far as the color scheme goes but it's still a little bit more toned down than not all right it is gonna be much much easier to be able to build from this side over here so I'm thinking we can take these guys and we can bring in a little bit of like a temporary dirt block right over in here we can do another one of the cyan bits right over in here. And then we're gonna start dragging this down a lot. So I'm thinking we can go a blue one right here. We can go with a green one right here. And then we'll do a light blue right there maybe. And underneath this, we'll go with another blue. And then right over here, we're gonna add in another cyan and then a cyan and then bringing this one out to another one right in here. And it looks a little weird. I feel like we brought it out one too many blocks over to the side to make it look like there's not very much wind in it. But I'm thinking instead of we make it a bit longer, so instead of just doing the one block here, we bring it down an extra one, and the thing's a little slight bit different now. We can bring in a slight bit more of our light blue that we have going on. Actually, I think I'm going to leave that one right there, drop you down here, and organic flags are so difficult to make, and just flags in general in Minecraft, they're so difficult to make. It's a lot of trial and error just trying to make it work together well for what your plan is. I feel like it looks like a flag. I am so that... <laughs> That's a good thing, I hope. <laughs> so I think we're gonna keep that one up there as is right now. And my plan is, is we're gonna obviously throw that tower in right back here, but I wanna turn this portion into a little bit of a garden. But I think before we do that, I wanted to spend some time making the ground area look a little bit more unique for today's episode. Right now it's just all cobblestone and cobblestone is uh, not the best when it comes to these types of things. So I'm thinking we can bring ourselves one block out from where everything is at this section right now and maybe bring in some smooth stone. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I feel like just a bit of a border to the roadway that we have could actually really help us out. Already, that's not bad at all. And then behind that, we could do some stone brick or at least just like some andesite or something just different than the cobblestone. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I forgot to light this one up in here and please do not blow everything up. I do not, oh my gosh, there's three of them. Creepers, please, please. I just I just spent two hours building all this. I don't need you all to come over here. I don't need any building inspectors. Thank you very much. Let's get some torches before we forget. While we're down here, I was thinking about something doing the build and stuff earlier today. I have a bit of a challenge for you all, because I know a lot of people constantly are like, Flip, do interiors. Why do you never do interiors? Blah, 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 all that type of stuff. So I want to see how many people are actually interested in the whole interior game. If we get 8,000 likes on this episode, I will commit to doing the entire interior for the entire mansion that we have around this area. So if we get to 8,000 likes on this episode, 
all of these buildings will have decorated interiors for them so let me see what we can do down there folks and there we go just something as simple as lighting that area up with a different block in here being the andesite instead of all of the cobblestone we have it actually looks a lot better i really really like this so far i spent a little extra while around here detailing the area getting some more nature foliage around here and it is looking awesome i did all of the thing along here as well with the peonies and then i realized i forgot to do something along the back here as i realized on the build i had done i didn't include any windows so i came through here and added these guys in which i think are awesome i'm utilizing the brick walls in here with the new connected in 116 where they line up perfectly so there's no gaps inside of them and it looks like it's almost starting to just a little bit of concaveness for the windows and i love it so i did three of those along there and i'm definitely gonna be experimenting with that moving forwards but i turned on the shaders here as y'all can see because i know everybody likes to see that how the build looks when it's all fancied up like this but folks it is looking great i think that is a good amount of progress for today we get in our flagpole in here getting that whole thing finished up we've got some gravel here in the road then i added some polish and cider around this area and just kind of finished things off did some final touches around this place and that is gonna have to do it for today's episode i do hope y'all enjoyed please be sure to click the like button down below if you did enjoy i'm trying very very hard here to make this series a little bit more interesting and add some new things into here so if you have enjoyed these ones all of the support is very much appreciated folks but any ideas you have for the rest of these buildings around here be sure to let me know that down in the comments below i've been reading a lot of the comments for the series and trying to respond to a bunch of them as well but anyways please be sure to click that subscribe button down there as well if you are brand new folks and i will catch you on the flip side <laughs>